My name is Ryan Hess and I'm an Education Park Ranger with the National Park Service. I'm here with 38 students from Sigsby Charter School, 7th graders, and we are here on a, a rare event in that it's a field trip bringing school kids, local kids from Key West, out to Fort Jefferson. For many of these kids, it's the first opportunity, believe it or not, for them to be in Dry Tortugas National Park. I'm Don Finnefrock, Executive Director of the South Florida National Parks Trust. Uh, the Trust is a friends group for the national parks in South Florida, and we support education programs in all four national parks, including Dry Tortugas. Why don't you take one, pass it around. I gave each of the students uh, a pamphlet, our Dry Tortugas Expedition Journal, and in this journal they are more or less detectives. They're finding artifacts to support evidence that tell the stories of this park. You guys are going to be on a mission. We were given a pamphlet and then we had our opportunity to walk around the fort and try to find artifacts on how the fort was used as a coastal defense, like there's cannons and the lighthouse. And then also we were used, we had to find like artifacts on how it was used as a prison, like the prison cells and like the, the sizes of windows. But when we worked with the park back in 2005, to start the program, um, we didn't ha actually have any curriculum in place. And it was through the support of Rotary and some other funders that we were able to get the funding we needed to develop curriculum. So when the kids come out now, it's a curriculum-based program. It's really living history, and we love bringing the kids out so they can see that and, and experience it firsthand in a program that really stresses experiential learning um, and lets the kids go off and, and kind of explore on their own inside the fort. Um, and then when they snorkel, to see some of the amazing things that are below the water too. The value of this program is it creates a long-lasting memory in students' minds. We're not just doing something out of a book for the purpose of a test. We're actually connecting what we learn in the classroom with real-life practice so that we can enable ourselves to be better global citizens. Um, when I'm working with kids in the park, to me the, the most inspiring or rewarding thing is seeing just that discovery that they get by using this journal and just being out in the place, not seeing it on a TV or on a PowerPoint in the classroom. They're actually getting out and seeing the evidence in front of them, the real life experience. It gives them an experience that they'll carry with them the rest of their life and perhaps start them on a path of conservation and stewardship for the national parks here in Florida and, and all across the country. Uh, I think national parks are important because places like this and other places, they have special history or special wildlife that needs to be kept alive and growing. These are truly special places and they belong to all of us and we all have a stake in preserving and protecting them.